In 2017, almost everything takes up gigabytes of space. Which is why, no matter how many drives you have, you're always going to have to deal with space management, which is something I'll be showing you how to do in this video. Not space management as in the universe, but rather disk space management, which is probably just as important. We're not going to be able to record those flybys of Pluto if we run out of disk space, right? So, this video is directed towards Windows users, as we'll be using a tool called Winderstat, or WinDIRstat, whatever way you like it. It has no gimmicks, no rubbish. It's actually quite helpful, which are difficult characteristics to find in software these days. So let's get started. First, you are going to see a selection of all your drives. You can scan everything or you can just scan a particular drive. And by scan, it doesn't mean automatically detect things to remove. It's just going to show you what is taking up space on your hard drive so you can decide for yourself. So let's say I want to take a look at the C drive, which is my primary SSD. Now this is going to take a while and it's going to give you a very nice graphical representation of how your disk space is currently allocated. This should only take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on your computer specifications. And once this is done, this is what you will be greeted with. So first of all, you have a very nicely arranged list of folders or directories along with the amount of space that they're taking up and the percentage this is extremely useful to find what you can delete to free up that extra space that you need. Another very useful aspect of this application is that it shows you the disk space per format. So in our case, we can see that the virtual machine disk format is taking up a ton of space on this hard drive or SSD. I keep missing that. And this diagram is quite interactive, so you can click on any random chunk that you see and find out what it is. And if it is something useless, you can just delete it. You can do that directly from here with delete or shift delete, whichever way you like it. And there's a really good reason why I recommend this tool. When we're usually doing the spring cleaning of our computer, we often tend to focus a lot on insignificant files like pictures and stuff that may not be taking all that much space. So after spending an hour deleting stuff, hoping you've regained that 10 gigabytes of hard drive space that you desperately need now, you might often find that you've only freed up 100 megabytes. This tool gets you around that. So you directly see what files are important and what you need to look at. And often we miss these files. Like in this case, my virtual machine disks are really huge, but while cleaning up, I may not notice that. So I may totally skip the folder that's taking up 40 gigabytes of space and look elsewhere where I would potentially be wasting my time because even if I deleted a lot of things, I'd only get back five gigabytes. So this app is uh, really useful. I use it all the time and I think you should too. And to facilitate that process, I'm going to leave a link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Leo, and I'll see you in the next one.